put oil on my hair, put butter on my hair. That was what moisturizing my hair was all about for me. And I made that mistake for a really, really long time before I finally had a clear understanding of it and I got it right. Hi guys, you're all welcome to my channel today. If this is your first time I've ever tuning in, hello, I'm so glad to have you. My name is Shidoba and I live in Kiev, Ukraine. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so, so much for always supporting me, coming back to watch my videos. You guys are the best, the absolute best. And I do not take you for granted one bit. So you guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about moisturizing your hair. I'm going to be talking about what it means to moisturize your hair, why it's important to moisturize your hair, what do you need to moisturize your hair, and most importantly, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I moisturize my 4C natural hair. So if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. You're ready here. Just watch. <laughs> so guys, when I started growing out my hair, I had no understanding of what moisturizing my hair means or meant. All I knew or what I understood from my understanding, it was just like to put oil on my hair. Moisturizing my hair was like, to put oil on my hair, put butter on my hair. That was what moisturizing my hair was all about for me. And I made that mistake for a really, really long time before I finally had a clear understanding of it and I got it right. And I believe that a lot of us are like me or had a, a different understanding of what it means to moisturize our hair and we have been getting it wrong. So in this video, first we are going to be defining what moisture means. I believe that to solve every problem, you need to know the basis of that problem. If you're able to take the problem from the root, if you know the basis, then you can be able to handle the basis of anything. You can be able to handle any challenge or solve any problem really have to that thing. So if we know the basis, if we know what moisturize, moisturizing your hair means, what moisture means, then we'll be able to solve the problem. If not, we will keep on trying different methods, but still we will not get the right result. But if we understand the basis, then we would be able to get a good result even if we do it and even if we have like different methods of achieving that result. Since we know the basis, we will be able to achieve the result. We keep it at the fine moisture as the presence of a liquid, especially water, often in a trace amount. So simply put, moisture is putting water. So like that's a period. Period. Let's forget about the whole English or the whole packaging that will bring about it. It's just simply water. So with that being said, the things that I use to moisturize my hair, number one is water. So I have my water in a spray bottle. The number two thing is of course your comb or anything that you use to detangle your hair. It can you maybe you don't need a comb or a brush or whatever a detangler. That's what you need. And totally and totally we need oil any oil of your choice. So here I have a mixture of some oil that I like. So I'm going to be using the oil to seal in the moisture in my hair. So to moisturize my hair, I pop my hair into four places for easy manipulation. And then I go ahead to spray water on my hair. I use warm water in almost hot water on my hair because I have very, very low porosity hair. It means that my hair has very low affinity to absorbing water. You can like literally see the water that I'm spraying is sitting right on top of my hair. It's not being absorbed. So I need to help my hair to absorb the water. Guys, I understand that this is like something we do like very, very often without even knowing that we're doing it. Especially when we're spraying our hair with water for easy manipulation. But I want us to be very, very intentional about doing this. Incorporate moisturizing your hair into your routine. Let it be like shampooing your hair, conditioning your hair, make out days when you need to moisturize your hair. Because if your hair is moisturized, guys, it's healthy. And if your hair is healthy, it's not going to break very, very uh, easily. So when I moisturize my hair, when I spray the water, I take my time to walk the water, making sure that every single strand of my hair is fully moisturized. Then I'm going to go ahead to use my oil and my butter to seal in the moisture there i'm using melted shea butter and oil 
so guys if you have leave-in conditionals or moisturizers that you want to use after you spray the water you can go ahead to apply the leave-in conditioners and the moisturizers before slimming the uh the moisture guys butter and oils those are not moisturizers those are sealants so sealing in moisture means that you want your hair to retain the moisture for a longer period of time so your hair needs first the moisturizers before the sealant so don't just apply oil and uh, shea butter in your hair or butter without any moisture your hair needs the moisture first before it can be sealed in so after i do that i go ahead and yeah put my hair back into the cornrows i will usually or into any kind of protective hairstyle i'll usually moisturize my hair once in a week but every other day i go into the shower without um covering my hair so my hair is getting moisture here and there so it keeps my hair moisturized throughout the day and by the weekend i moisturize my hair if it's the weekends that i'm not washing my hair so i take out my cornrows line by line to uh, moisturize my hair and put back the cornrows but if it's the weekends that i'm washing my hair i make sure to deep condition my hair deep conditioning your hair is one of the easiest way to retain more moisture in your hair so deep conditioning your hair helps your hair to retain you know to take in more moisture before i seal it in with the oil so moisturize your hair so that it will be healthy if your hair is healthy it will not break it will not shade it will retain length and it will grow well okay <laughs> so you guys that's it i'm going to go ahead and make uh my cornrows my protective hairstyle so once you're done moisturizing your hair just go ahead and put your hair in any form of protective hairstyle that you want for me i'm going to make cornrows and i'm going to be a wig yeah until the weather gets better and get warmer then i can leave my hair out for now we're gonna be wearing wigs <laughs> okay so i hope you guys learned something from this video just remember that moisture means water the most important thing in moisturizing your hair is water there is nothing else forget about the big english or whatever comes with it it's just water so usually when uh, i put water on my hair or if you have um leave-in conditioners or any other form of moisturizers that you have so what you can do is after you put the water on your hair you can put in the leave-in conditioner you can put in the moisturizers second before you can use the oil to seal it in but for me it's not important leave-in conditioner no leave-in conditioner moisturizer this is the ultimate moisturizer ultimate nothing else water you people water Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, go on. Please. Please, please, please. Do hit the subscribe button. I'm waiting. Have you done that? Yeah? Okay. Thank you. Welcome to my YouTube family. I love you guys and I do not take you people for granted over here. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. And again, I want to say, if you have any video ideas of any or anything that you guys want me to make a video around, please do not hesitate to leave that in the comment section below. I will be so glad to make a video around it. I'm asking you guys not because um, I have a lot of videos in stock, like video ideas in stock that I'm waiting to just roll out. But I'm asking because I want to know what you guys enjoy seeing or what you guys expect to see from me. So please, if you have any video idea, do not forget to leave it in the comment section below. And if you have anything to say about this or more information, let's have more conversation. Let's interact more in the comment section below about this topic. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Bye guys!